So we've used the grid gain web console to construct a brand new cluster configuration. We've downloaded the project uh, zip file to our file system. Let's extract that onto the disk and open it up with our editor. Okay, so we see that it is in fact a Maven project. We see our POM file and we're gonna change the version of our project from the version of the software to version one as this demo necessitates. Let's save that. And we also notice that there is a properties file created to handle our connection information, which would be good to externalize that for different runtime environments. That looks good for my development environment. I see that there is an entire object model created for our tables, so I can use that in the future. There is a load script for me to load my caches and some routines for starting up servers and clients and so forth. We're happy with this project, so let's go to Maven and install that. And if I haven't made any mistakes in customizing my project, I should have a new jar file built in the target folder. So that looks like it's gonna complete successfully. And when I open up the target folder, I see my sales 001 jar file. Let me drag that to my runtime environment and drop that into my folder. Now I've got a the runtime ready to go. Let me open up a command shell. and use the standard bin ignite.sh file or batch file on Windows to start this up. And I'm gonna run the sales server.xml that is in that jar file that I built. Okay, so kicking off that start script, it will start up a new cluster node and if it's the first node, it will create a brand new cluster for me. Now I like to use the verbose flag on startup because there is some good information, especially in debugging, uh, that I wanna see here. And in particular, there is a panel of information right at the end where it tells me all the ports that it started up. So I see that, yes, it started up the RESTful web service port on 8080, the JDBC, ODBC port on 10800, and their RESTful commands, discovery and communication uh, there. So it looks like we're ready to go. Our server is running. Good, let's go over to our web console and the monitoring dashboard to see our cluster. Okay. In the list of clusters, we see that ours is not yet activated, which makes sense. It's the first time it's been started. Let's look at what we've got here. All our tables are there, but they are yet to be loaded, which makes sense. We haven't loaded them yet. Use the load caches routine, start that up, and let it load the caches tables from the source system that we originally imported from. So once this gets going, we should see a new node connect up. There is the client node coming and going, and we see all our data loaded here. So we know this completed successfully. So we've used the web console to create a new cluster configuration. We downloaded it, config, uh, configured it, built it, started up and loaded it with data.